doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your freaking host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, boys, girls, peoples. Hey, look it, still working, boys. I'm going to get the T-Rex foreskins up to par here because I kind of cocked her over the other day there in that uh, little freestyle. And these things aren't made for that, right? So I almost dicked her over. I was watching a fellow YouTuber there, Whiplash RC, and he was in Rock Glen doing some rock crawls. So maybe one day we'll have to hit up with him and see uh, if we can go out with him and maybe go for a little crawlage. It would be a good, good thing to do, but check him out. Give him a sub, why wouldn't you? And I'll put the link below for his channel. Why wouldn't I? Freaking right it will. But what's going on here right now is I got the front end, it's all jacked up because I had to adjust it for that old Chevy Silverado body. So I'm gonna have to readjust it back down, boys. What's happening to me right now is this thing is like super heavy up top here. So I don't know, I might remove this basket at the back just to lighten the truck up, boys, for a bit to see if it makes a difference because like I said, it wants to tip over all the time. So if I remove that, it might be a little better. I know it's not gonna look as good, but hey, tis what it is. So another thing I wanna do while I'm in here is I wanna check out all the uh, gears and stuff on this thing because I think last time I used it, I was pretty friggin' hard on it and it felt like something was slipping. Yeah, hear that? We did something that's slipping right here, boys. Oh, slipping pretty good, actually. Well, that one's obviously not locked. Oh, careful. Might have to batter her up, boys, to lock the diff. There we go. See, that one's not really skipping. Maybe she's not quite engaged. That's skipping pretty easy, boys. Yeah, maybe we'll run her until she breaks, though, because I don't want to pull that thing apart right now. Frig, it could be anything. Could be... Yeah, we'll just leave her for now, boys. I think she'll have enough. But what I want to do for now is I want to adjust this, and we'll bring her down, Jim. And then we'll try to figure out something else to do with that thing, maybe. Hey, maybe. Just saying. We'll pull that off. See, this is my little light quick connect. I don't know if anybody else is running them. They work good. They do add weight. I will say that. Bring it right, I will. So we'll grab one or two screwdrivers here, because I'm not sure what size it is as normal but we'll grab them anyways we will and we'll see what we can see obviously the screws go in from the back so we got to try to get back here boys and i'm trying to make this so you can see what's really going on that was not the right size that's definitely not the right size grab not the right size i have a <laughs> grab the right size there it is there it is boys why are you rolling away on me what the hell are you neutral for freak's sakes what's really going on i might have to fire this thing up here in a minute and see what the hell's really going on it's kind of acting a little cocked over it is Let's face fact, it wasn't actually easy on it the last time I used it. Just so everybody knows, I'm running the Hobby Wing um, censored brushless system in this, and it works friggin' mint. Just destroys the tractor stuff it does. That's my opinion, my opinion only, so everybody has a different opinion. So what we'll do is we'll get this back on and we'll see what heights we want her at, boys. Because you gotta remember, we gotta clear everything we do. So that's down there pretty good. We should come up maybe 1A. Actually, you know what? That's pretty good, boys. As low as she'll go is where we want her. All right, so that was easy enough. We'll put her as low as she wants to go, Captain. Jason. Careful. This thing's due for a WD-40. It's all cocked over and dirty. She's had a rough go. She has the last couple times out. All right, so that's done. So now we can slap this back on wherever it went. Oh, it's on the truck. Oh, yeah, we did. We can plug it back in because that's how the lights work. Decent. So that's done. So let's get a battery here and we're gonna test all the different functions of the unit. Running the Gen Ace batteries in these, they seem to be a really good battery actually. It's also a crawler so they can take a little bit more abuse because you're not beating the hell out of the battery all the time. So let's turn this bitch on and uh, move a few things here so it doesn't cock over my bench. It's just gonna wanna kick this right out of the way. So let's just move it out of the way now. Power, wherever the hell they put it, right here. Okay, so we got, these are the diffs. So we got one diff, yeah, it looks like it's working. Okay, we're good there. Second diff. Yep, that's working. All wheel drive, yep, working. High low. Oh, high low is sticky, boys. There she goes, she's in between gears. Oh, she tears. Tears her up, boys, listen. I wonder why it wasn't the tug of war with the freaking SCX 10A. Listen to those tires. I can't even pull the wheels, boys. <laughs> oh, man, we gotta go 
crawling with that bitch. Oh, Lee, don't wear the tires out, Jim. Wow, she's got some friggin' hookage. Look at the hookage. Look at my table now. I just got cock right over I did. Oh. Hit the corner, boys. Yeah, we did. Anyways, that's getting some traction right there, Captain. That's all good. Everything seems to be working on that still, so I'm not going to pull a diff apart until I have to on this. I'd like to get some upgraded shocks on this, but I don't want it too much higher up in the air because then it's just going to fall over, right? You just get cocked over and roll all the time. It rolls now because of this body. Because this body, as you all know, even stock is top heavy as hell. So what I did was I cut her down to like a pickup truck style. And, you know, not too bad of a job, boys, hey? She's, uh, she's really heavy. So I want to remove this box for starters. And we'll see if that helps lighten her up a little bit. Because I don't even know what the hell's in here. I don't think anything's in here, to be honest with you. Oh, we got a few ropes and stuff, okay, for pulling ourselves out. But we're going to need a starting handle screwdriver to get that off there. And that will help with some weight. Decent. I did cut the friggin' chassis out to put this in. But, hey, it is what it is, it is. Yeah, see, it looks really cocked over now. But, hey... We gotta do something here, boys, because like I said, this thing's way too top heavy. So I might pull this off too for now, and we'll test it out and see what it does. So I'm gonna need a shot screwdriver. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of body you're running on your TX4, TRX4, because you know I like to change her up sometime here soon. Because I've been running the same body for I don't know how long, boys. So maybe we'll have to switch her up, try something different. See if we can't get her to not be so top heavy, eh? Careful. Oh my god, easy. Gentle. I don't want to lose them because I might want to put it back on, Jim. We can't see dick. This body's had it, to be honest with you, Jim. It's ripped and tore up and broken and just cocked right over. It's from falling out of my tree in the backyard. That's what it's from. It's kind of cool going up inside the tree, but when they fall off, it's not so cool anymore. It's not too bad, boys. Definitely lighter. This light's another issue that I like to move, because every time it rolls over, it crushes my light. So I like to maybe mount the light down here in front of the windshield, if you know what I mean, instead of on top of the bar. So let's try doing that, too, because it's just breaking my light all the hell. So if we take this off the roof, that will give us a little less weight also. That's aluminum light bar right there. Proof freaking heavy there. So how hard is that to unplug? Oh, brother. Oh god, boys, can't see dick. This kit is the actual Traxxas light bar kit. So it's it's actually a good kit, really. It hasn't uh, quit or anything like that on me. So I'm quite happy with the kit. But we gotta unplug it and I gotta figure out how we gotta do that, boys. So that will unplug there and that's all connected to that. Why wouldn't it? Oh, no, it's not, we're good. There you go, so you can unplug the light bar. And we can slide her out of there. I haven't got much of a hole here. I only made the hole as big as I needed to make it. Come on, get out of there, son of a bitch. It's all in the way you hold your tongue, it is. So there we go, that's off. So now we'll move this mount here, because this is a GoPro mount, which is right in the wrong spot. So we're gonna have to move it. There we go, that's off. Mount the light down here, boys. And that will keep her from uh, getting all dicked over, Will. But we gotta figure out a way to drill a friggin' hole. Oh, look at that. I wrecked the windshield, too. Holy. Just cocking this body over. Who do you think of light down there, eh? You probably can't see because this thing's in your damn way. So now that I got the eye light off, I think I'm gonna mount the light bar down here, boys. What do you think? Can you leave a comment down below? But every time it's up here, it just goes bang, bang. It never stays straight because it's always rolling over. And that jack's all dicked over, so it can come off. Try his friggin' screw hole with that one. Had to cut the spare tire off. That screw is caught in there. There we go, that's out of the way. Should pull that off and redo that because that's all decked over. Oh my god, boys. This thing is rough. Captain, now what I gotta do is I gotta find a tiny, tiny little drill bit. Well, why do I can't find any drill bits out in my garage because they're all in here? Frick. All right. She's ran up and down the stairs four times, for Christ's sakes. It's a little bigger than what I want, but she's good enough to work, boys, because that's all I got. And I gotta go up the stairs one more time because all my screws are upstairs. Holy crap. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, hey, ooh. So, what we need is, we need one of them. We need one of those. We need one of these. And it's a different size, so I don't want one of them. We need one of these. We need one of those. What the f Guess what? I gotta go upstairs again. Finally got the right screw, boys. Girls, peoples. So we gotta screw this in here, which ain't gonna fit. Ah, it might. Nope. Might have to steal one of them screws I used for the other thing. Because these screws are tiny. Uh, All right, don't laugh, but that's as good as I can get her for now. <laughs> 
the screws that are in it are tiny and I can't find one. So whatever holds her from going back, we're good. <laughs> All right, so let's get this light mounted on the old down slope of the old wing dong here. So we need to drill a hole right about there. Captain, no way. Ooh, hey, ooh. Holy f what a pain in the nutsack. You ever tried to drill a fucking hole in a round piece of plastic? God almighty. I need one of them things they call an all where you just gives one of them and it gives you a little loop de loopage. I'll fucking win. Don't worry. Come on, bitch. Come on, you <laughs> cock. Wow, man. There she goes. Yay! So get a screw in here, and then we'll have something to help us line us up with the next one. Go on in, boys. Girls, peoples. Oh, yeah, we did. That went in there pretty good, Jim. We are a little bit this way because of the air scoop, but it is what it is. So now we need to drill number two hole. Yeah, we did. There we go. So now we get the light mounted. Decent. And it, it does still turn. So if I want higher or lower, I can go higher or lower. Because that bar is screwed on. But at least it's now it's down out of the way where it's not going to get hit every time you roll over, Jim. So now we just got to drill a hole down in here. Our wiring through, Jim. I don't really care where the hole is right now, to be honest with you. Because, like I said, this body's dicked. So it doesn't really matter, boys. Just put a fucking hole in her. Careful. Easy. Oh, my God. There we go. That hole is more than big enough. So we'll slide these wires in here like so. Me like so. There we go. Plug it all back together. There we go. There's one. There's two. Now we just got to put all this back together and zip tie it. How the hell did I do this before? My hands don't work like that. I don't have any small zip ties anymore, so hopefully this zip tie will go through. Yep, she'll go through, Jim. There we go. Decent. Leave a comment down below if you think it's going to work or not. Because I heard something snap when I tighten that up. So let's check it out. We'll make sure she works, boys. Let me move some of this stuff now that I've made a mess. We're almost there, boys. Decent. So let's throw a battery in this thing and see if we got light still. Why the hell wouldn't we, right, boys? Girls, peoples. Slap that on there. Just slap that up there for now. We'll turn her on. We'll slap this on here. And there you go, boys. Still got lights. They all work just friggin' decent, they do. Okay? Friggin' right they do. Hey, and guess what? It's a lot lighter at the top now. Even though it looks cocked over, I don't really care, boys. I just want her to be lighter. Oh, look, we gotta fix that fender, too. Frag, man. All my fenders are just decked over. Magnetized thing works pretty good. So anyways, all I got left to do now is fix this one front fender. We'll get it back together. She's pretty much ready to go out and beat on. Have a good crawl with her. And I don't have to love her and maintain her and make her feel like she's good. And I don't have to worry about rolling it because I don't really care about this body because it's dick. Friggin' right is dicked. She's tied for a replacement, boys. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like these quick little dicking rounds with the old RC skis. Coming up here, we're gonna have a crawl video because I do want to go for a crawl and it's perfect. It's getting into the right kind of weather to have a crawl and it's a lot of fun, it is. But we gotta wait for the parks to open back up before we can go anywhere cool. We can go in the backyard, but my rock crawling track is just dicked and it's coming down, boys. Sorry about that, but she's coming down because it's just not, it's boring for me, eh? I have no friends, so. In my area with cars, so it just, it never gets used. So it's coming down, Jim. And I have no friends either. Why would I? Frig. No friends. Dirty old Bills is just another YouTuber, alone in life. <laughs> Do you believe me? Probably not. Anyways, hopefully everybody's staying safe, staying quarantined, staying in their house and enjoying their Easter weekend. Hey, today's Easter, boys. Happy Easter. Freaking right, it's happy Easter. Making ourselves a turkey dinner for us and the family we are. We're going to have some turkey, some mashed potatoes, some carrots, some stuffing, and then I might make some turkey soup. And I'm still off tomorrow, so maybe tomorrow. Anyways, love you. Thanks for stopping in, and uh, you know what to do for now.